everybody. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna talk a little about a little bit about um, starting measurements, keeping track of things, and why it's important. Starting a serious workout plan um, regime or whatever you want to call it um, without having your starting measurements in check. Uh, the best sort of comparison I heard was someone that said that's like planning a trip around the world without knowing what country you're gonna start the trip from. Like you can't do it. You, if you don't know where you're starting, how are you gonna plan where you're going? You know? So the main important ones to have, and I'll I'll go into these. Um, in, in more detail in the next video, but the main important ones are obviously body fat percentage. Um, in my case, like if we're talking about abs, um, then also waist circumference. Um, but if you're very overweight, you might also want to measure the circumference of your legs or whatever. Um, your weight, obviously, and um, FFMI, uh, called, uh, which stands for Fat Free Mass Index. Those are the ones you need, and you need to be, when you're measuring, you need to be really bloody anal <laughs> about it, okay? Um, measure, make sure that you measure the exact same places every time, and I do mean try to really be really exact about it. And the other thing is, is also measure them at the same time. Don't have one measurement that you did in the morning and then compare it to a week later where you did it in the evening. Those are going to be completely different results that you can't use for anything. Measure them at the same time and really be anal about it. Me, I'm going to be doing it every Sunday. When I wake up, I'm going to go have a cup of coffee, grab a cigarette, go to the toilet, do my thing, measure. That's the that's how it's set up. Don't compare, like, don't do it um, where one time you're like, oh, well, I, I'm just gonna have breakfast first this time, for instance. That's gonna skew the results with your weight because even though um, your, your, uh, your skin fold measurement might not change a whole lot because of that, it, your weight is gonna change and you're, you, you calculate your body fat percentage and all the other formulas here work on your weight like comparing these things to your weight so be really anal about it when you're doing these measurements and do them the first time and take all the same thing goes for pictures when you take pictures make a little rule like always do it if you can the same place stand in the same posture um, roughly at the same time of day again all these things because otherwise you're gonna get you know comparisons that you can't use for anything so and again it's important to have these from the beginning how are you gonna how are you gonna know if you're doing well in your workout if you don't know like if you jump on a weight and go well well, I didn't actually know how much I weighed before. Then you can't bloody use it for anything now, can you? You don't know if you're still overeating, if you're losing tons of muscle, for instance. It's They are really important to make sure that everything is going as planned and motivate you. Because when you see those curves going in the right direction week after week after week after week, that's motivation. That's you know a great driving force when you can compare your pictures to five weeks ago and go I look way better now in just those five weeks that's motivation so it's it's really important that you get these things done right from the beginning and keep up with them the entire way through personally I'd say do as many bloody measurements as you possibly can but um, why is that wire there? <laughs> ah. I should have not done this during the video. <laughs> anyway, um, and do them right from the beginning, you know? Um, that's, that's, it's really important. Otherwise, you won't know what, what the hell you're doing. So get them right from the beginning. 
you don't need expensive equipment for it. You need a, um, a skin fold caliber, measure, a weight, and measuring tape. That's it. I'm assuming you already have the weight. The rest you can buy collectively for like 10 bucks. You know, we, we, you can do this. We can do this. And that's, you know, it really helps with the motivation when you can compare 100% to the week before and see, I'm doing better now. I'm pushing harder. And again, do as many measurements as you possibly can. Um, the only thing is don't be careful that you don't do so many that they go on just to be an annoying chore um, that, that you can't be bothered to do. Obviously, don't, don't be so strict about all of them that you're losing you know, interest in actually working out. But if you're if you're doing a, a serious program and you're being serious about your workouts, knowing your measurements is an absolute must, in my opinion. And as I said, I'll be going into uh, details about them in the next video. Um, but for now, have a good one and chill.